Welcome to London, England in November of 2023. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick from Oakland Travel and it's a long walking tour. It's the London 30 plus top sites oh, tour and uh, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, but uh, I guess with the time change over there, early November, you see how dark the skies look in you know, the background and everything. It looks like it's in the evening, even though it's late afternoon. And uh, our tour guide is this lady that is kind of like a little purple cap on. You'll see her talking here in a second as she's getting ready to tell us some of, some of the history of the, the river that we're at, the, the Thames River and everything. We are in the Blackfriars area of London. What we're doing is we're going to go from Blackfriars into Southwark. And I'll tell you a bit more about Southwark when we actually get to it. Um, but while we're here, just because it's a perfect time to take a little moment. Um, uh, this is, I'm going to talk a bit about the Thames. It's massive in Uh, so, uh, yes, it is the Thames. I'm not the thing. Or the Tamies, as some people have heard someone say before. But, um, no, it is very annoyingly the Thames. Um, and it is a super important river to the history of London because this is what, you know, this whole thing. Uh, is the reason why the Romans set up camp on the other side of the river. Uh, what we're looking at now, basically, that is where the Romans set up camp back in 43 AD, so a really, really long time ago. Um, and uh, they chose this spot because it was an amazing place to have the... Well, you've got an incredible port opportunity here as well. Um, but it's just also great to, in terms of defence. So basically what ended up happening was back in 43 AD, the Romans came along and they thought we need to build a city, but we want to build a city that has loads of defences, right? And so they thought, okay, we're going to start building Londinium, which is where London comes from. And Londinium expanded from where the high rises are now, all the way down to just beyond Blackfriars Bridge here, yeah? So that's where it all travelled from. So it was quite a big city. Obviously it expanded over the centuries and the like. Just a little bit, yeah. Um, uh, but uh, they also built a big wall around it a couple, uh, well, a little while later to make it even more built in. And the only way that you could get in and out of the city was London Bridge, which we're going to see a little bit of later. Um, it is not falling and it is, a, it is <laughs> exceptionally less uh, extravagant than you probably have in your mind. Um, it is a very boring bridge. Right. But <laughs> it still is a bridge. And uh, it's just a bit further down there. We'll get to it a bit later. Um, so they had London Bridge. That was the very first bridge back in 43 AD to ever cross this river here. But this river itself, um, it's a tidal river. So the, the water's actually really high right now. It's almost at its uh, at its height, but it's a seven meter tide. Seven meters? So, yes, so it's a really, really massive three, tide. Three, oh, shoot. Uh, okay, so so two meters is six feet. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> for that. <laughs> What's, um, oh yeah. God, this is where I'm bad at. What's it's six good. times three? 19.5. 19. It's 22 feet roughly. Okay, okay. <laughs> roughly 22, <laughs> roughly 22, <laughs> 22 feet. There you go. So a big, big uh, tide. It goes all the way down so that actually the reason why most of the boats that you're going to see going along here, in fact all of the boats, are quite flat bottomed. Because um, they have uh, not very, well, they don't really have that much water to actually continue on moving. Um, when the tide is, is the lowest it goes. But because the tide goes so low, is I always feel strange when people jump in on, onto the tour. And I'm like, I don't feel bad telling you to leave, but like. <laughs> um, but when the tide goes down, there's loads of the bank on either side that's exposed, right? So we'll see as we walk along, there's quite a few steps and ladders and things going down into the river. And that is because exactly when the tide is out, you go down onto the banks and you go treasure hunting, essentially. Because there's thousands of years of right? And, and civilization. You can see as well how strong the currents are. 
Um, so that's why you never swim in this bit of the tins, because <laughs> if you get in, you go straight under. It will just drag you down. It is a very, very strong uh, current, which is also why the water is the colour that it is. Because, I mean, yeah, it's not the, it's not the clearest water, but it's not as polluted as the water. That cold water, the silt is exactly stirring it up. And that means every part of the bank is closed, and you drag it back to the people, I mean, if you want to go out with a, they don't check you, you actually need to have 